Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me. If you um, have been following along at the beginning of the month, there was no video. Instead, there was a statement that I put out um, personally because my company is me. I am my company. I am a sole proprietor. And as a speaker, an author, and a coach, I needed to make a statement about the Black Lives Matter movement. And I needed to just explicitly declare where I stand in case anybody was confused before that, which is doubtful if you know me even a little bit. But either way, I felt like as a, as a company, it was my responsibility to explicitly declare that. And then last week, I was still um, and am still very angry and learning how to navigate this new space of being both angry and operating from love and recognizing that those two things don't need to be separate. They're very yin and yang, right? And so it's important that we recognize and acknowledge our anger and then use that as fuel to contribute to change, whether it's um, by signing petitions, by protesting, by donating money, by having conversations, by being a part of really important dialogues, by continuing to educate ourselves, and so on and so forth. And so uh, personally speaking, as a woman of color, it is really important for me at this time to continuously love on myself and to continuously remember who I am, not who they say I am. Um, and I say that coming from both a Puerto Rican and mixed background, but also as a woman who has this amazingly beautiful family filled with all the ranges of colors, right? Um, and I feel very I don't know what the word is other than blessed. And I, I feel like that word is so overused. Like I'm blessed, I'm blessed. But I do, I feel very blessed in having this beautiful family that ranges from what we like to say is creamy vanilla all the way to delicious dark chocolate, right? And so this work for me has been embedded in the work that I do in general. Um, so today in staying in that space of remembering who we are, I wanted to share with you this spoken word piece that I wrote I don't know, a long time ago. And it was actually because I was at a meeting and at the beginning of the meeting, the icebreaker was describe yourself in six words, nothing more and nothing less. So um, a lot of people around me created lists of words and I came up with this. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to read it to you. It's called six words. Six words. They said six words to describe myself, my identity. Six words? They gave me six words to capture the essence of all of me? So I sat, pen in hand, and began to write my list diligently. Puerto Rican, hardworking, a fighter, I can be loud, intelligent, resourceful, a little crazy, and proud. But then I thought... When I wake up in the morning, what's most important? What's really real? If everything got washed away, who am I really? What makes me happy? What seals the deal? Then it hit me like a brick right upside the back of my head. You know that feeling. I really do. Like, aha, here's what gets me out of bed. In six words, I am a mother who dances. Listen. When I first laid eyes on her little face, my heart melted away. What overcame me, I can't describe. Few words can properly say. Her presence was heaven sent. In that instant, this infant made pain so distant. My heart beat consistent with hers. And there I held in my arms my life's purpose, the point of my existence. I am a mother who dances. She's the reason why I work so hard and behind my every choice. She's the reason why, up to that moment, I had ever needed to learn, suffer, or rejoice. And she's the reason why I had to find my voice. Being a mother requires every aspect of me. Mixed blood, crazy hair, caramel skin, almond eyes, my culture, my language, my spirituality, all my ties. Strength, sense of humor, resilience, my wit, my tears, my joy, my love, every bit. My life's greatest and toughest work and my life she enhances. Must I remind you six words? I am a mother who dances. Now, life, including motherhood, 
my purpose may feel too heavy to bear. So I plug in, turn on, start to groove. And yo, I swear when it all gets too crazy, I can salsa, plie, or hip hop. I've learned to keep on moving and dancing until I'm back on top. Six words, I am a mother who dances. My desire to dance moved me when I couldn't even walk. Even when the doctors who knew better were spewing their negative talk. With dance, every stress, every worry, every fear just fades away with every step and sway I release because tomorrow's another day and I will face it, I will, I can because dance keeps me free to be creative, transcendent, and authentically me. You see, dance like love transcends all, even stereotypes. There's no ethnicity, gender, or race. It's so natural and cathartic, just a dancer in her place. I am a mother who dances. So do me a favor. Before you judge me on what you see and try to label my identity, take a moment to think this through, and I will help you figure out what's true. Who am I? Six words. I am a mother who dances. And to deal with life's battles, I will teach my little girl the ways because they will come and can be harder on some days. I will look her in her hazel eyes and then I describe her identity lies within because looks and appearance are simply paper thin. So long as she knows love and knows how to glide, she can just keep on moving and take it all in stride. I am a mother who dances. I am a mother first and foremost in my actions, in my ways, and in my soul. I am a dancer. The movement takes me and lets me safely lose control. I have a daughter, my life's greatest teacher, and I will teach her of her birthright, which leads me to my next six words. I have a daughter who dances, so I know she'll be all right. So when I, um, I came upon that earlier today, and it was not what I was planning on sharing for today's video, but I felt the need, like compelled to share it because a lot of the reason why I do the work that I do is because I am a mother and to help me remember who I am and to stay strong in all the magic that makes me me, I dance because it's such a big part of my culture. So I just wanted to share that with you and to either give you the challenge, not necessarily the challenge, maybe the exercise of thinking of your six words or reminding yourself of how amazing you are. And then from that place, using that love to go into the world and make impacts and changes that promote equality across the board, that promote equal rights across the board, across the board, right? And especially at a time like this is such a pivotal time in our history. And this is the biggest civil rights movement that we have ever, ever as America participated in. And we, we have to use our voices. We have to. And so my plea is to all the mothers out there for your child and all the other children you have to step up, you have to speak up, you have to get educated, you have to have conversations because black lives matter. All black lives matter, black trans lives matter, black art matters, black culture matters. It matters to me because it is literally embedded in my culture and it should matter to you because you're here in America and chances are you can't partake in anything that doesn't have the magic of blackness on it, right? Like, So we have to be willing to go here first and do this work and then bring that love and energy into the world because the world needs change now more than ever. The world needs different now more than ever. The world needs equality now more than ever. And until we are able to really look at ourselves and see ourselves as deserving and worthy and as capable, we're going to hold ourselves back. So let me just be clear. You are deserving and worthy queen. That's six words. You are deserving and worthy queen. So let's come together. Let's make it happen. Let's do the work. Let's spread the love. Let's educate. And you know, yeah, I love you so much. There's nothing you can do about it because you deserve it. And I deserve it. And every human on this planet deserves it. And that's all I got. I'll see you next week.